Welcome back to the WOSN postseason selection show as we're joined by Shawnee head coach Mark Triplett. Coach, thanks for taking time. It's it's getting kind of bad out there. The roads are a little crazy with the, yeah, with the snow. There, there were some some wild rides over there on the way from ONU. Some <laughs> some guys drifting off into the ditches a little bit. So it's it's not real nice out there right now. So be careful. Well, you shouldn't be watching this. So stay on. Keep your eyes on the road. But we're taking a look at uh, the the brackets here for high school basketball. Coach, first of all, just kind of first impressions about um, where you guys have ended up in the bracket. You know, I, I was proud of our kids um, earning that one seed. I thought it could have gone to Wasion just as easily. You know, they've had a lot of success here the last few years and a very good season again this year. Um, proud of our guys getting that one seed, but ultimately now, you know, we got three regular season games we're focused on and, and then we'll get ready for tournament after that. And I thought the bracket, um, there's going to be a lot of competitive matchups there, mm -hmm. you know, some, some good games, a lot of really good teams in our sectional and our district. So um, it, it's going to be a challenging sectional and district for us. Do you use playoff losses to kind of motivate you to not necessarily get better, but kind of use that as fuel to the fire for the next season? How much does that inspire you as a coach and then your kids as well? Well, you know, we, we had a nice season last year. We got to the district finals and, and we got beat by a very, very good Wasion team. And uh, so I, I think our kids got a little bit um, of that experience and what it takes to be successful and, um, you know, have talented senior class back that, that really have been great leaders for us. and. Um, pushed our young guys to get better and, and, and those guys have really meshed well together and, and just like the game of basketball they're a fun group to be around so um, I think they they really push themselves more than than the coaches have had to push them they just want to win a lot of times in that first round you get you get matched up with teams whoever comes out of that bracket that's below 500s maybe had kind of a rough season um, is there any type of special preparation that you go to kind of get your kids up for that or is it just like flipping on a switch these guys are ready to go because it's the playoffs yeah I think that ultimately if that that comes to that point in the season and you're not ready to go, then it's going to be a short run for you anyway. Um, you know, we could potentially be playing Salina there for the second time in a row. We play them our last regular season game. Um, Napoleon has played some really good teams really tough this year. So that's going to be a competitive basketball game and, and our kids will be able to take a look at that and, and I'm sure we'll be there for that one. So um, I think if you're not able to motivate yourself come, you know, March, then uh, you probably shouldn't be there anyway. <laughs> Do you have to I don't say worry, but do you are you concerned when you have to play a team more than once? You know, if you're if you're if you have Salina back to back, or you could possibly have Salina back to back. Does that cause you to make some more adjustments, maybe some different adjustments, maybe change up your game plan because you know we can't just do the exact same thing that we just did against these guys because it might not work the second time. Yeah, I think that it's important to to mix things up a little bit, but. Uh, ultimately, you have to do things that you've been successful with and that your kids have had success with and, and hope that the kids just go out and respond and play well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's never fun when you have to play a, a good team more than once. It's not even fun when you have to play them once, let alone more than once. So uh, we could potentially be playing a whole bunch of those guys for a second time and if it comes to it, Elida for even a third time. So uh, that, that definitely is going to be a challenge, but hopefully our kids are up to that. You guys have had a lot of really good offense. Johnny Capella, among others, have really done a great job of scoring the points for you. Yeah, defensively, you guys have actually had some uh, quite a bit of success at different times. Has there been any kind of sense that maybe the the defense is, is improved or not necessarily ahead of the offense, but have you guys noticed that that has become a very, is isn't a very important part of kind of how you guys have gotten this far so far? Oh, I think team defense for us has been critical. You know, we have uh, several guys that, that are tremendous on-ball defenders and, and team help defenders and things like that. And, you know, like Friday night against Elida, we, we didn't play very well offensively. We didn't execute very well offensively. So uh, we scored one point in the last six minutes and 35 seconds of the game, and we had to rely on our defense to get stops for us. And, um, you know, we've used, we have a couple seniors, Sheridan O'Neill and Justin Banky, who have been tremendous defenders for us. And then, you know, Tyson Elwer in the post has been great as a, a big sophomore down there. But, you know, we, we've been mixing guys off the bench and, and the other starters for us that just do a really nice job collectively. And, and that's helped sometimes when offense isn't particularly going well for us. Shawnee head coach Mark Triplett, thank you so much for spending your time with us, coach. And good luck in the playoffs. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. When we come back on the postseason selection show, Frank Altieri will sit down with Wapak head coach Doug Davis. Stay with us. We'll be right back.